Welcome teachers. Now that you have your laptop, a class roster, and access to Google Drive, I'm going to show you how to create a shared folder. This folder will allow you to create a folder, but it will allow students to put their material in that folder so that you can see the work of the entire class in one location. This is very handy if you want everyone in the class to turn in their work into one spot where you are, you are able to view that very quickly and very easily. Obviously, the first thing you will need to do in order to complete this process is you will need to access Google Drive. That can be accessed by going to drive.google.com, or it can be accessed by going to your Gmail, clicking the nine square grid, and then clicking on Drive. Either one will get you to the same place. Once you are in Google Drive, on the left side, you will notice there are several options. There is My Drive, and My Drive includes all the folders and files that I have created, organized, and uploaded. So these are things that I've created that are visible only to me unless I share them with someone else. Just below that is the Shared With Me tab. On this option, you will see there are files that have been created by other people who have shared them with me. I have access and rights to view those, and depending on how the people set, set them up and send them to me, I may have rights to edit them as well. But I can definitely see other things that people have shared with me. So what we're going to do, essentially, is we are going to create a folder in your drive that will show up in your student's drive under their Shared With Me tab. This will allow them to drag a file that they've created from their Google Drive into a shared folder so that you will be able to visit, be able to view and visit that file anytime you want simply by looking in your folder under your drive. So in order to start this, we will need to create a folder. You're going to click the blue new tab and then you're going to click new folder. For this purpose, I am going to type in castle video because I'm originally creating this video to assist third grade teachers with uh, getting all student videos into one folder. So I'm going to call this Castle Videos. I'm going to create that folder. Notice that it will place it at the top left. It's placed it there because I have mine set up, my Google Drive set up, so that my files are organized by the last modified. If I click the down arrow here, I can change that so it will be the most recently modified, uh, or I can change it by name, or I can filter by other views. So I am going to go to last modified by me, and that's the Castle Video. It's going to be in the upper left hand corner. I am going to click on that folder, single click on that folder, and then I have several options. I have get a shareable link, or I'm going to sh I have the person with the plus button, which is the share castle videos. So I'm going to click there. This is where your class roster is going to come in handy. It's going to be a little bit of work up front, but you need to type the names of all the people who you would like to share this video with. And because Google has the auto-recognize feature, it shouldn't take you very long. So for example, I'm going to type some of the third grade teachers' names who I'm, who I'm working on this video for. Um, so if I wanted to share it with these people, all I have to do is I have to type their names and I then will see uh, their name pop up. And it will do the exact same for students as it's doing for teachers. So it shouldn't take more than a couple of minutes to set this up uh, for all of your students. You can add a note down below here. Basically what's going to happen is the students are going to be sending an email letting them know the folder is shared with them. The email is really inco inconsequential. Uh, it will just matter that they can access the shared folder in their Google Drive. Once you have entered all the names and you've typed an email if you would like, uh, you are going to uh, give these students viewing privileges and you are then going to hit the send button and that folder will be shared with all the students. And in the future, when I come to your class to possibly work with you on getting student files into this into the Castle Videos folder or other folders that you may have created, uh, they, st the students will go to the Shared With Me tab and they will see the folder that you have created there and we will be able to move their files into that folder. And then you will be able to click this folder and view anything that students have placed in that folder. I hope that helps you out. If you have any questions, please let me know. Otherwise, good luck creating your folder. Mm -hmm.